Do you had uh, Rosie Huntington or Megan Fox? Megan Fox. Ah, uh, Megan. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Kobe or Scarlett? Scarlett. Scarlett. Same. Y'all have, y'all have the same taste then? Give me more candle. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the newest talk show on the Hopper Island. We are having uh, Nilush and Salah with us today. Um, so, the, jumping straight into questions, tell us how you started traveling, what inspired you to start traveling? I've been traveling around for quite some time. Guys, from small days I've been traveling and such, but uh, properly, properly got into it about uh, two and a half to three years ago. Yeah. So, with, uh, I think. Is this for work or did you just start on your own? Own, own, with yeah. friends and stuff like that. But then the last two, three years has been a lot of traveling, uh, mm. work stress and stuff like that. So, weekends are mostly the getaways. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I'd say curiosity. So, mainly I'm lucky. And the other thing is, I uh, happen to have a set of friends with common interests. So, we, we started traveling together and so that's how we start, like we, we experience how beautiful this country is and yeah, it, uh, like became an addiction, so. Yeah, it was a bit of work as well for you, no? Though. Yeah, now now it's my work as well, so yeah, that's pretty good. Huh? But one thing the two of you have in common is you all have your interest in animals as well, while, right? Yeah, while yeah. Like we both focused a lot, not that we don't do the other stuff, but we focus yeah. a lot on wildlife, I guess, right now. What, uh, what why exactly? Is there any purpose or not? Just there that? is no purpose as such, but I think what uh, Nilushan said also, it's an addiction. I think so. When you start getting into yeah. wildlife, you tend to spend more time on wildlife and not really look for other things. Whereas there is yeah. so much to explore in the country. I mean, you have the beaches, you have the mountains to climb. There is a lot to explore in the country, but once you get into wildlife, it's a bit of a. Yeah, it's it's a class, I, I care about the. I, I mean, not. Mm-hmm. Serious, I mean, not as a profession, but I do a lot of bit of conservation as well. So I think yeah. that's, I mean, that got me into, I mean, wildlife and that. I, if you're doing it, you have to have a bit of conservation and a bit of yeah, passion towards that. You need that passion. Yeah, exactly. Because especially in Sri Lanka, for us to have, you know, things like, you know, like leopards and thai and uh, uh, leopards and elephants, right? Awesome. We're just blessed to have that here. Yeah, yeah. You know, have being such a small island, right? Uh, what what is your perspective on the travel industry today in Sri Lanka? I think it's still we are not still doing up to I mean up to our, our potential, potential right? right? Yeah. Of course we have a lot to offer, but but most of the countries we, they still don't know about Sri Lanka. I mean we we got number one in the Lonely Planet. We, we I don't think we capitalized on it. Yeah. So I think we we got a lot of potential, but we I mean even government and public private sector both have to do a lot. Yeah, okay. a lot I think yeah. what I feel is there is a lack of uh, branding also. Yeah. Like if you have, I mean there is so much that we can offer, right? But uh, out there in other countries, people hardly know about Sri Lanka. Yeah. And even if they get to know and like Mindushan said, the whole uh, Lonely Planet thing, like when that came out, the country's situation also, the yeah, political situation true. was not I think not uh, that Dubai, for instance, is probably doing their marketing, right? They spend I mean, a lot for their destination lot, campaigns. Well, in their marketing exactly. for the country. Because it's return on investment. You won't really get the returns immediately, but then on a long yeah, term, exactly. you will definitely get That's the true, return. that's true. Who uh, or what type of pages do you use to inspire yourselves in what you do? Have you checked out the real Tarzan, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I follow him. He's pretty him. inspirational. Yeah. I like what I like what they're doing as well, how they're investing into, uh, you know, they, they inject dyes into the rhino's the rhino, horns. Yes. Where, I mean, that way the value of it goes down so exactly. the poachers don't feel like, don't see the value in that. That's hunting. a very a smart idea. Yeah, they do that. They cut it as well with wet paw and uh, this guy called uh, Timothy Skies and Sam Calder. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are heavily involved in it. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you, I'm going to run you through two uh, faces. Just let me know who you prefer. You had uh, Rosie Huntington or Megan Fox? Megan Fox. Ah, uh, Megan. Okay. It's dumb. Yeah. Guy get her or Michelle Rodriguez? Michelle. Oh, I'll say Guy Gadot. She's badass though, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Kobe or Scarlett? Scarlett. Scarlett. Same. Y'all have, y'all have the same taste then. Margaret Robbie or Anne Hathaway? Anne Hathaway. You? Margaret. 
Keep walking. No, no, Done. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of similarities with the two of you. So what's, three, what's three things you always carry with you? This is when we go on our travel? Or? Uh, always, okay. always. So basically, uh, could be uh, the wallet. Yeah. Then you'll have the car keys. Yes. And the mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah mobile. That, that's, yeah. That's, for sure. That's one thing I always check, right? Yeah. Yes. Keys, wallet, or phone, yeah, for instance. Sure. Yeah, so how, how often do you travel out of Colombo? That's, that's <laughs> like for me, I think I travel a weekly basis More most than of weekly, the time. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So quite a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> but I think he travels a lot with work also. Yeah, so work so. plus yeah, hobby. So yes. both. There's a thin line between both. So. Yes, that, that, that's a good advantage for you because you get to do what you like as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. So I get most of my out of my work as well because of that. Yeah, so how, say how often are you out of Colombo or B? So, most of the time, I have to go like three, four times a month most of the time. So, yeah. so if you combine both the hobby as, as my hobby and both the work, so yeah, usually. Are you, can, are you planning on selling any of your uh, your portraits or your animals? Uh, I, I, have, I, have, so I have a plan because I, yeah. I had a, like, a like, sort of a deal with uh, one of the printing camera spring yeah. people so so yeah we'll see hopefully you guys can yeah, set it out, right? yeah yeah what are two places in Sri Lanka you would uh, not get tired of traveling to for me I'm guessing uh, it's Vilpatu, Yala, Vilpatu. Uh, for me Vilpatu and Danitli Vilpatu, Vilpatu is there and I would uh, choose Mirissa Ah, okay, that's nice. Mirissa, they, they put that strip down, right? Yes, they put it down, but then uh, Mirissa is a lovely place to be. Have you guys been to Arugambe as well? Yeah, I've been there like been a few weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, these places are like a completely different country, right? So I'd say Potuvili is like, that. It's, there's lots of things that like nobody has seen in Potuvili. Yeah. Like the East Coast is like, most of the places are untouched. So okay. I did like a off the track. Yeah. Uh, tour in East Coast, like there are so many pla places like hardly anyone has visited, so there's so much to explore there. There are beaches like there's not even a single, single like drop of any uh, litter or anything. It's like amazing. Yeah, that place is really rare to see here. <laughs> yeah, just uh, like whenever you guys have time, just check those areas rather than yeah. going to mainstream places. Just check East Coast. There are like but hidden beaches, amazing. But there, just no? be careful. Sometimes the wildlife and they're not much. Like, uh, like you know, signboards or anything in certain places. Yeah, so yeah. Like, whenever you travel, be careful. Yeah, but it's best not to go alone as yeah, well, yeah. right? You know, no, but no. the other issue with uh, the problem I think we have is like once you explore a place and you find a place, something which is nice, right? Yeah. What happens is when people get to know, they flock that exactly. place and then they yeah, mess it up. For true. example, I think uh, Mimure was one of the examples yeah, for that. True. By jungle beach, isn't it? Jungle beach. So much more packed now. Uh, it's before. up to you. You have to be responsible when you travel. And anyone, if everybody yeah. is like responsible, if they have, if they have common sense, right? To be, I mean, whenever you see something, clean it. Like you don't need to like do it mass scale. But if you yeah. can organize things, that's better. But do your part, like. Don't just complain about everything all the time as well. Yeah, that's that's true as well, right? I mean, that's that's a, that's a habit everyone. I mean, you, you see in Switzerland, for instance, they they do uh, they do movements into you know how you can uh, travel for tra travel for free if you you know give up a certain amount of bottles yeah, to your train station things like that. We should implement here, right? Yeah, true, definitely. Um, there should be some sort of incentive for them to do also. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Especially I mean, we need, in Sri Lanka, need you need incentives. <laughs> the culture here is like that. So. Yeah, exactly, that's true. Okay, now I'm just going to run you through, uh, I'm going to give you each two options. You have to pick one out of the two and I'm going to give you five seconds for each, right? Um, okay, so bonfires or waterfalls? Waterfalls. Waterfalls. Apple or Android? Apple. Apple. A PlayStation or Xbox? None of it. PS. Yeah, PS, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, black or pink? Black. You said you can say pink. Yeah, you, I think you lost them a second. You actually can say pink. I won. No, right? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, uh, okay. Could, would you rather be uh, uh, Candy Crush or Angry Birds? I don't know. Do you not play this? Played, played it, but then. Big fan. 
not a fan of wasting time with that. You might as well go to a mountain and then uh, relax and like most of yeah. the time I did pictures like when I'm yeah. trying to play. <laughs> uh, what's one breakfast you'll never get tired of eating? Kiribat for me. Uh, bread, pole sambal and parakeet. So dogs or cats? Leopards. <laughs> cats basically, right? No, no, but not dogs. Cats. I mean, if you dogs. take domestic, dogs. Dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you rather cast in Magic Mike or in the Avatar? I don't know. Probably Avatar. Avatar, Magic right? Mike. Yeah. Okay. So who, who is your favorite Instagrammer? No, mine is uh, Shastjen. There's this photographer. Yeah, yeah. I love how the how he tells like all these pictures are like a story. Yeah. It's like I love his book. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, the way you put out a story through your feed is also pretty interesting. I mean, people people increase their their the people's or their engagement through how they say stories instead of just uh, putting statements on there. Right? So yeah, that's right. The difference between followers and like engaged people, like yeah. you can have loads of followers, but then yeah, exactly. if you have storytelling, people will engage with you and they'll like love your. Yeah, family. that's true. That's, that's true. what matters most. Yeah. What about you? Who is your favorite? To be honest, no one is specific, but uh, okay. I admire a lot of people. Okay. No one is specific. Though. Yes, sir, I'm guessing you're more into the real Tarzan. Uh, yes, that, that. but it's a combination. It's not just wildlife, but yeah, then a combination just, of As long as they do something Anything nature? For sure. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so, yeah, that that's it for today. Uh, thanks, guys, for coming today. Thanks, uh, thanks for inviting us. And uh, you can catch us on the next episode.